This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Saturday, July 18th, 2020. The title of this rant is, Trump has goons in the streets of Portland. Why does he need an October surprise now? Uh, so he's put some federal goons in the streets in Portland. They've done a lot of illegal things. Uh, they're dressed in uh, 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 military uh, garb. They're not, they don't have their insignia on. They don't have their name tags on. They're pulling people off the streets for no reason. Uh, yes, they have charged someone. They've shot at people uh, who are not uh, um, uh, uh, damaging federal property. Uh, so this is really bad shit. Now, the governor of, of, of Oregon has asked them to leave. The mayor of Portland has asked them to leave. We don't need you here. We understand why you're here right now. You're trying to gin up your base, uh, and this is just political theater, but lives are being, could be lost, and this is illegal stuff that's going on. Now, considering that their most recent, meaning Trump's most recent um, <clears throat> A political thing is basically to say that there's rioting in the streets and that he's going to he's going to clean it up. And it is has to deal with the law and order issue. And of course, Trump News, especially Sean Hannity, excuse me, Fox News, <laughs> especially Sean Hannity, has been putting a lot of this in place. You know, just showing very very select stuff. Uh, trying to say there's rioting in the streets. And of course, why are they doing this? This is an omen of things that are going to come between now and the election time. Because just a few days ago, Trump had said that there's a lot of things that are going to be coming out, you know, good things for the country, because he's the law and order president in the next two weeks. And, you know, but basically here's what's going on right now and why they have to make this strategic move now is that they're losing and they're losing badly, meaning Trump and the Republicans in terms of the upcoming election. Okay, they cannot change the narrative. There is no way they can change the narrative between now and the election time, because what we have here basically is the combination of the pandemic of 1918 and the stock market crash of 1921 basically happening, happening simultaneously and basically condensed into a much greater thing. We have is just so much quicker in terms of the amount of unemployment that's gone on. And there is just no way he's going to be able to stop the virus because they have not done anything to stop it at all. So one of the things they're doing is they're putting goons into the streets because they're prepping right now and doing trial runs for a national emergency or national emergencies that are going to be up upcoming uh, because they have to blame the Democrats. As I said, <clears throat> they are losing badly and they have looked at the scenarios as to how to change the narrative. They have looked at how Trump can get the upper hand. He cannot get it right now, at least right now, based on what's going on in the country. The only thing he can do <clears throat> is to have, and this is what they're doing, they're planning right now on doing a lot of this because basically, and of course, we have to realize that all of this is noise. All of this is to distract from the fact that he's failing economically and he's failing with the pandemic. And they will continue to do this, they meaning the Republicans, now and through the election because they have no, no platform in terms of what they want to run on in 2020 uh, to be reelected. Uh, and they have botched the economic and the pandemic to such a degree they cannot win legally and they are planning to win illegally. They're prepping the country now. The resistance has to continue. We need to vote every one of them out because this is going to be an onslaught by them and we need to be prepared.